AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's shameless after show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Shameless After Show. Woohoo! Yay! Bing is for doing, and we're here doing the Shameless After Buzz Show for Season 3, Episode 10, called Civil Wrongs. Yeah! Woohoo! And I am JJ Jorgens, and I'm joined here tonight with your lovely host, Dre Renee, and EJ Bonilla. All right. Special guest. <laughs> we miss Phil tonight, so Dre and I are going to yeah, tag taking team the this bay. <laughs> we're doing this tonight, guys. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, and EJ is going to help us out. That's right. I'm going to try, but we're I tr missed my plaid shirt. So. Oh, yes. You can't see, maybe, but we are wearing lovely plaid yeah. matching shirts. And very rude of us to not send EJ the memo. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. <laughs> Yeah. But you look great. So yeah. it's all good. And you're here again. You've been to After Buzz before. I was. I was you're here for Revenge a couple oh, weeks right. ago. Nice. Very nice. Very I like, nice. It. like it. So you know the rules. You know, you get it. You yeah, know what's talk. going on. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we'll dive right in. Let's start out talking about Kevin and V. Oh, I know. I'm so excited for all them, right. but I am a little bit nervous. Like, I know they've been trying really hard, so I hope it, like, actually goes through. Because yeah. it was just the pee stick. Yeah. And there weren't any actual doctor visits, so... I agree. You hope it's not too good to be true. We, we were just talking about last week how they kind of let, we were happy to not hear about the mom and the, and the sex again. But right. now tonight we're happy that they are going to have a baby. So I'm with you. I hope that it actually yeah. is good for them because they deserve some happiness. Yeah, I kind of knew when she said she was sick that maybe it was going to like go through this time. So hopefully it will work out. We'll mm -hmm. see. Have you guys discussed that? Because I'm new. Yes. yes. Have yes. you discussed the cr that boundary being crossed. The I'm gonna have sex with your mother. Yes, with the baby we have talked we have, about that. But let's hear your thoughts on that because I think it's awesome. <laughs> Do you really? He's a lucky guy. They're both <laughs> really attractive. That is great for him. No, I, I just think that's crazy. Almost. I just would would I would I do that? Would, would I you would do you, that? I would not in a million years. You don't know though because you aren't in that situation. That's true. If like if if my young lady couldn't have babies, would I go to her mom? Mother, if she was like somewhat kind of sexy fox. Who was in the room here with like us? She's like 30. <laughs> so, she's, a, she's a beautiful lady, but I, I couldn't hot. cross that line personally. You don't think that maybe if it got down to it, though, you guys might be like, oh, let's Probably have not. a baby that looks like I'd us. Like, let's adopt a baby that <laughs> looks like, like us. Exactly. Let's adopt a baby and skip the having sex with And then with lie to it and say, we made you. <laughs> That'd be fine. Right, and keep yeah. it moving. Because yeah. if it didn't work, then it's just awkward at Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have to agree. I think when you go to a parent, like, I don't know. A just PTA <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Can you bring your parent or no guardian up? Yeah. Well, we got three of them. <laughs> Grandma slash mom is coming yeah. in to town. Merry Christmas, yeah. mom. <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> mom. Brings a whole Grandma, mama. <laughs> exactly. Oh, only on Shameless. Only on, but they can't afford it. So they're doing what they know what to do. That's the part that maybe is different. If I couldn't yeah. afford it. Exactly. And I yeah. couldn't adopt because we were broke as, as heck. And I really wanted a kid. I'm, I'm curious what line I'd be pushed to. And yeah. all of that is very expensive. Like, they don't talk about that. But, no. like, I've had people that have friends that have had a hard time having babies, and they start going through a lot of different you it's know, options. And it's, yeah, it's amazing how expensive that is. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I don't, I, I don't think I would do that. But, again, I mean, that wouldn't even come up. In my that head. wouldn't even be an option. Yeah. yeah. Is the, thing. the fact yeah. that it is an option is it's only I would, shameless. Exactly. So. I would go to adoption, like never to. Yeah. Would you have sex with my mother, please? Yeah. I would steal a kid. <laughs> before I did that. 
I went to the mom option. I would uh, just go rob a kid from a exactly. I just exactly. like this this one looks like me. You're gonna be better. I can off. get away with this. Come with me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, me too." I, so, yeah, I, I started thinking about hospitals, like you know, delivery people rooms, do maybe that. just like people circling do that. around. People yeah, you, are crazy. You got trench well. coats. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for them. I'm happy for Kevin yeah. B. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about um, Ian and Mickey a little bit. Oh. Not a lot about them in this episode, but but they did touch I mean, on it, and I'm really sad for Ian because they didn't even show Mickey in this episode at mm -hmm. all. But um, I did enjoy that little moment he had with Lip in yeah. the room. Yeah. I did too. A great brother moment. And just, I don't know, they hadn't, you know, he's like, how did I know, not know about this? And he's like, well, I didn't tell you. And just, I don't know, their, their relationship I've always really liked close. and enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he well, took that moment and stopped what he was doing to be there for Ian, which I thought was really nice. Yeah. That's good. This show's doing great things for, for like, the homosexual community. Yeah. I think. Just Absolutely. because it's it's completely saying, well, we're not even going to talk about the homosexual thing, really. We're just going to watch these two be brothers, you know, yeah. watch them be in a relationship. And the conversation comes up at times, but they're brothers. And that's it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And again, we've talked about it before, but the casting for all these kids is just Ridiculous. amazing. Yeah. Ridiculous. The way they're able to pull so much off with just their looks or just their, with, you know, not much. And it's just, you totally buy it that yeah. their bond and their. They're a family. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they must feel that way by now, being Absolutely. on set for this long. Absolutely. And it totally shows. Yeah. I agree. Well, we're going to get into talking about you being on set for this episode. Oh, yes, that's going to um, be yes, exciting. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let's first let's do a little shout out for um, iTunes, guys. Go on to iTunes if you like watching the show and rate and comment um, on it. Tell us. We like to read mm -hmm. your comments. We read some this week that you know we we appreciate. We had Chris Wallace say Lip is the second Goodwill Hunting, <laughs> um, which we kind of agree. Which is pretty true. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Prince Kassad said this was a must a must watch. So thank oh, you so much. But, yeah, cool. got some good very reviews. Cool. And Surf Dog 200, your show is entertaining. Keep up the awesome work. And we like that you tell us things that, um, like, last week we weren't sure about, you know, like, I don't think Mandy knows about Ian and Mickey. So we love when you, that was from Derek Johnson. We like when you guys tell us your comments and things yeah. that we might, we watch it so quickly that we don't have a lot of time to digest everything before we run in here. So we're always looking to see what you guys have to say and what you guys want to hear about. So awesome. keep rating and commenting and telling friends about it. <laughs> so EJ, let's talk about you tonight What's up? What's up, on the yeah, show. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple lines. They were really fun. They were mm -hmm. really fun to say. Um, <laughs> How was it being on set? Yeah. Um, it was awesome. I mean, I think honestly, you know, I, I I was here last time, and when I came from Revenge, I was on it for a couple episodes, so you feel a little bit more like you're a part of the family. Mm -hmm. But often, when you're a day player, you're just on for a couple hours. It's very easy for people to sort of not intentionally, but you end up feeling like you're mm -hmm. right. just on borrowed time. You're just squeezing in this little nook and cranny. But everyone was amazing. Bill Macy was fantastic. He was oh. just hanging out in his chair in his robe half naked the entire time. <laughs> I coming love in, him. Coming in and out of the sex scene, playing his ukulele. Funny oh, enough, that's what he does in between takes. He plays a ukulele. Really? No way. Yeah, and I was like, I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought something smaller to play, like a harmonica. <laughs> um, no, I, I honestly felt like I was one of the, the contract players. I felt nice. totally nice. accepted and I hung out with everyone. He, Bill was oh I'm obsessed with mm -hmm. him. I mean, it, yeah. you see why he's an Oscar winner. It, he's just that good. Yeah, Bottom he's line, great. He's that good, and he's a real human being. So he was just talking to me as if he wasn't an Oscar winner and as if Ugh. I wasn't a contract player, uh, you know, I wasn't just a day player. Yeah. So I thought that was amazing to feel that welcomed. And honestly, just some backstory on the show. Yes, please, please give um, us some. The, even the crew that are there, everyone is incredibly adamant about how that is the best show to be on. Just oh. for the, from the behind the scenes perspective. Yeah. All the all the crew were just like, we never have to go overtime. Everything gets done. Mm. Everything here is so efficient. Everyone's so nice. Everyone does their job and gets out. And they have they have a highly su successful show. So I know from them, they're like, we don't want to go on another show. Yeah, I, think I don't want to do crazy hours of overtime. <laughs> right. I want to do a successful show and do it on time. And that's not easy. That shows how much of a family they all are. 
Yeah, we've heard mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's been the consistent thing when people come in that have worked on Shameless. They say they move really quickly, it's efficient, and they always get stuff done. Yeah, yeah it's I like mean, two or three takes, and they're yeah. on to the next thing. And it's not like they're, they're lax. You know, the cinematography is, fi is fantastic. Yeah. You know, yeah. the director that, I, wor that were, I worked with that day was amazing. Just amazing. Where did you shoot your scenes? Uh, we shot them downtown LA at a, at a hotel. I forget which one. Oh. But a really ritzy hotel. And I, I looked like that, like I did on the show. So everyone kept saying, excuse me, where's... <laughs> oh, right. You don't work here, and I was like, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I That's don't. I am an actor. <laughs> I'm like, sure We're you are. A movie. Hello. <laughs> because I like to be in character all day. That's yeah. what I like to do. Oh, were you that kind you? of actor? I love I'm, that. I'm pretty. Sure, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just kind of sure. I'm positive oh, that the hairdresser right. was like, hey. <laughs> And then I, so I casually was like, no, yes, I'm here with my girlfriend. We moved here in February. And he was like, uh, Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> was, I think he was just confused. He was like, did he mean his best friend? He's like, oh, you mean like girlfriend, girlfriend, or like girlfriend? Yeah, I was pretty sure. So there's that. Right, that happens. right. But you got to stay in character. And that, that, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you at this point get a lot of questions about that, like if you're gay. Everyone's you're thought I was gay since I was born. Yeah. Basically. That's just, my mom popped me out and she was like, he's a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense it. <laughs> but clearly, as we can see, he is not. His lady no. is lovely. Like, she is not my no. beard. She, no. <laughs> we love each other. That's awesome. I'm physically attracted to her. <laughs> We got it. We got it. <laughs> so, what did you do to prepare for this role then? Well, it was it was, it was interesting because, like, you know, you read uh, for a, a, like a couple lines for right. a show like this, and it's a it's a comedy in its own way, you know. Mm -hmm. And I had planned to go in there and to be a little bit over the top, um, and a little start typical. But when I got in, the writers and and everyone were just sort of like, no camp, just. As realistic as possible, oh. and in my in my audition, like I almost cried, because the idea was that he is so overwhelmed to see Bill Macy's character, to see oh. Frank, that he really is like a hero to stand up mm. and say openly in public after you're 40 to that you're a homosexual, and to just be proud of it is like really heartwarming to oh, to nice. Jesus. Yeah. So for him to find someone to be, I mean, he's probably a kid who had just came out recently. And so it's supposed to be one of those things that really touches him at his core. And so then that's how I played it. And I, I think it kind of worked. At no, least it got yeah. me the part, so I don't know. Yeah. Absolutely it did. So yeah. Well, yeah, then you were crushed when you see him with the woman and yeah. realize that he's <laughs> no. not. I he's loved not. your yeah, sachet right. down the hallway. That was my favorite. Yes, <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a good fellas moment, like we were going to go cut someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the that. slow motion and the, yeah. the skip frames that, were, that they did. It was awesome. That's my favorite movie effect, yeah. slow motion. I love <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about um, let's talk about Frank a little bit. Well, and then we'll come back to talking more about you at the at the end when we wrap up the story too. So yeah. he was all over this time, kind of <laughs> playing both sides. What did you guys feel about what He's he was doing? So good at it though. He's so good at convincing people. It's like what you said, convincing people to do what they do not want to do, and you can't hate him. I try to hate Frank every single week, and he always does something to make me be like, man, that was really awful, but I still really love him very much. I think it's just, yeah. when, when someone's that open about what they're doing, he's yes. like, no, no, I'm screwing you over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not hiding it. I'm really screwing you over. <laughs> You're like, why do I, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. there was something about his honesty and just the way he had some, I don't know if I can have my note, read my notes here, but he had some great, like, Rough lines in, the, in this one, you know, so I think it was like clinical fornication and oh, yeah. rump like, swappers. I'm, I'm sorry, clinical what? Yeah, yeah, clinical, yeah. What? clinical fornication. fornication. He had rump swappers. They were oh, so fast. I was trying to get a few of them down here, but we had some, um, you know, yeah. I think in one of his speeches, he was like, I'm calling out for arousal within marriage. You know, he did a lot of things to really yeah. get people like fired up and going. And that guy was great. The one at uh, the bar. Yes. Oh, God, his yeah, character the... was awesome. Yeah. So we had, what was it? Alistair, Alistair. and Mr. Abraham, right? I right, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were. He was good. He was I, I, He was really believable, like this like hardcore Christian, kind of almost yeah. scary. He's MVP of the episode, yeah. I think, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, he was like, um, it was just really intense, mm -hmm. Bible beater. They're, they, they're, <laughs> no offense to anyone, you know, I'm just saying. For me, in yeah. the episode, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a little afraid. I'm almost positive yeah. that those 
places and programs exist. Oh, I think yes. they're playing on that. I think it, I think it's a truth. Yeah, absolutely. I I totally would agree I, with I you. I think he, one of his lines was, "We think that uh, like uh, what, what's the what's the sin is 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 not as bad a sin as sodomy." Oh so he right. Was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Sex yeah. before marriage. Yeah. What what is that? Uh, <laughs> everybody's <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. I don't have my Ten Commandments on me. I'm sorry. I know, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> but it's supposed to be bad. Yeah. Right. I gotcha. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, he was a good character. I liked him. Yeah, I agree too. I, yeah. So we'll see what happens with old Frank. <laughs> he's gonna look like he's gonna get in trouble. Oh boy. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Well, should we talk about uh, Jimmy and med school? Yeah, Jimmy and Fiona. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, I think that's gonna come to an end pretty soon because she's doing her thing at work, and he just—I just don't think he—I think he would do it if she was willing to work with him. And as we can see in the prediction for the next episode, when he says it's about I and not we, I'm starting to kind of agree with him on yeah. that. Because Fiona doesn't really bend, which she's not really in a position to bend because she has all these kids to think about. So she can't really come from that place, you know? I think she's used to not coming from that place because it's just been her. Mm -hmm. But she basically mm -hmm. has a husband now. Right. And I think that if you really want a relationship to work, you have to be able to bend and, and, and yeah. compromise. And for her, it's like either you accept me and everything. Yeah. Or get out of my life. Yeah. She's got her walls up that way, and he's like, I'm fucking trying. You know what I mean? I'm trying. Yeah. But I need some of me, too, and I think that's that's understandable. I totally agree. Lately, I've been kind of not on Jimmy's team because I thought, because he's lying and those kind of things. But and I, sleeping with a spy. Yeah. He, yeah. <gasps> but, but he slept I, with someone? Yes. Oh, no. His mm -hmm. wife. He's, like, married to this girl so she can stay in the country and... And he hasn't told her anything about any of that. So he's lying. No. no, no, he didn't need to, and he just went back and did it because he got. He slept with her out of anger. Oh no! At Fiona. Now I'm yeah. gonna kill him. He's yeah. gonna have to die. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I agree with you guys. I think she also she doesn't compromise at all, and he has given up a lot to like you know paid for the braces. He's done a lot of things to be supportive of them and the family, and I do think you know she's like oh a year. It's. Really, if, if you're if he's looking to help the family out and like right. better their situation, a year is not that long of time to be like, yeah, we to can work this doctor. out and we can, yeah. Right. <laughs> It'd be different. He was like, I'm gonna go to medical school. I'm gonna be gone for a decade. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but one year to finish up and then maybe be able to help them get out of that situation. I feel like yeah, she needs to be able to bend a little to bit, bend. like you guys said. Yeah, I mean, we see in the next predictions that she does try to. But Fiona's mm -hmm. hard. Her heart is guarded, and she's just expecting everyone to leave her. Yeah. So any hint of it, yep. she doesn't want to compromise. Yeah. Like, okay, fine. There you go. You can we, leave. We all know those people, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was just about to say, I, I've been Fiona. I've been Fiona with a year. Too. You know, I had a guy who was going out of, out of town for three weeks once, and I was like, uh, okay, well, we're just breaking up then, right? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> sure my girlfriend almost broke up with me a couple times. <laughs> over, oh. over four weeks. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to fly to New, to New York. You know, you just come with me. And she was like, fine, we can be together. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's usually what we're trying to get. But he did yeah. say that. He said, you can come with me. Do you but think she, he really had any intentions of intentions of that though? I don't know because it's like obviously she can't up she can but to uproot all the kids would be really. I, th I think he knows her well enough to know she's not going anywhere exactly. without the kids. I think so too. If exactly. he's part of if she's if he's making her part of any potential plan, he needs to make the family part of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I can't tell. I can't tell if he really is just wants an escape for a while, because I just don't know that he really had intentions at all for her oh, to go there. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's cuz in the past oh. episodes, I mean, leading up to this one, he's been um looking like he's want he wants to change. Mm -hmm. When he went out to, out to dinner with his med school friends and saw the girls and he's sleeping with the Stefania, he just comes from a completely different place than where yeah. Fiona is. He's like going backwards, which I think is really difficult yeah. to do. And I think a different place than we maybe saw him in seasons past. I, I, before I kind of felt like he was in there for her and like in it, now I kind of don't. I feel like definitely feels I'm kind of real. pulling back. And, yeah. I just feel like that's exactly what it is. It's getting real. Mm -hmm. At Prince, Char their Prince Charming's exist, but the truth is they have their flaws. And if you really want, you really want that to work, it takes a lot of work. And I think that he is inc incredibly in love with her. I just think it's a lot. Yeah, and they're both having to like compromise, and it's all fun and games. Like, oh, this is gonna be great. I love Fiona. And then it's like, oh, wait a second. This is getting really hard. So, and he's gonna have to yeah. change who he is. And I think he's trying to balance both, take her with him, and keep some of his, his self mm -hmm. too. 
It's this is what happens after the book says the end. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not really. It's and they lived happily exactly. ever after. Exactly. Or did they? Or did they? <laughs> That's a good they, way to put it. They lived, but was it incredibly happy every moment? It's yeah. not. My mom well, used to always say that. She's like, check in with Beauty and the Beast in about five years. And like, <laughs> the toilet seats up and people are getting angry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that, hairs it, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and I think you always you kind of miss parts of old lives. Like, I think there is, he's missing the being with his friends and having that high rolling kind of life that he had. But he also loves loves the good times with her and the kids and the special moments. So it's like, you can't, yeah. you know, have them both. And, Debbie needs braces. Yeah. So. I'll Debbie say this. I don't think he braces. would have gone back to medical school had he not met Fiona. I think he would have continued mm. with his life, maybe ended up in prison. Yeah. I think she grounded him and made him think about what's really important. I like that. Yeah. Huh. I think that's true. Yeah. Boom. Good, good one. That was good. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Like, hmm. Good perspective. Because otherwise he would have kept stealing cars and probably in Yeah. Age. Yep. That's right. You guys didn't watch the yeah. British version, do you? No. Yeah, tell us about that because you That's were saying that when we were watching. in the British version. Oh. He, he um, got in trouble. Is there, is there a cop in this one that like is like a neighborhood cop? There that, was, yeah. 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 He's well, hot, too. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he, he gets caught stealing a car and there's like drugs involved. Um, not that he was drug dealing or anything like that. And um, so now the cops are after him. It wasn't his fault. He wouldn't have gotten caught if it wasn't for the cop. Mm. The cop was trying to be a hero and take Fiona's love and all this other BS. Mm. And so now he has to leave town. So this year that you guys are talking about with him leaving from med school and, you know, on the British show would have been him having to leave because the cops are after gotcha. him and he wants mm. Fiona to go with him. And there's this beautiful moment where, like, everyone packs up all the stuff and all the kids are like, yeah, F it, we're going, all of us, as a family. And he really is this, like, Prince Charming. He's like, yes, please, I, I can't have my life without the whole family. He loves the whole family. And they get up to go and then, uh, not Lip, but um, Ian? Ian. Ian is like, I'm not going. Oh, oh I love you. You guys can go, but I'm staying here. And then Lip's like, I'm not leaving without my brother. And then all and then of a sudden is like this wall and it's just them two and he's like tears and drama and, and you're like watching like <laughs> 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 and and he has to go and she is heartbroken like I've I, I'm so, I was so invested in that show just heartbroken to check that so out. have you seen all of those seasons I'm not I'm in the middle I'm in the third season right now oh, so I'm right around yeah. here okay. so that's why I can relate I wonder, do they directly parallel probably not no not They're directly yeah, but yeah. the relationships are very similar okay okay you have to check that mm -hmm. show out well, hopefully they'll, I mean, they're obviously going to figure it out. They'll either be together or they won't. So, we shall see. All right, so let's talk about uh, Karen now. Oh, the big story. Yeah. That was, I don't, I mean, I was like in this moment of feeling sad, and then Jody went down on her in the coma, and I'm just like, I don't know what to feel right this second. I, I, I think he found the cure. I, yeah. just, I love that. <laughs> I saw it coming. I turned to you and I'm like, oh, he's going to do some nasty stuff. I know, and I'm like, no. Door. Maybe he'll just like suck her toe or <laughs> something else. Great. That's really, I, I agree with you. I saw the look in his eye from this second. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> God. She's not conscious. That's got to be like rape yeah. or well, something. You, yeah, you know, Lip kind of you know planted it like do some things that she likes. You know, <laughs> so I right. knew he's like, oh, I know exactly. what she's like. Because they were both sex addicts. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. are they? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she they is? they used to yeah. And the mom too? They, no, 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 no. The mom isn't in the British version. She's the sex addict. What? It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh. She has like under her bed like a box. Well, she does have craziness. that. She does have a box well, of craziness. Is she a sex addict undercover? I never thought well, about that. Well, she's freaky. She's like, freaky. And her she and Frank freaky. are like in a yes. relationship, serious relationship. Yeah, yeah they, yeah. they were. Yeah, they, they were. were. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then mm -hmm. they have twins in the British version. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Mm. So just but mad kids everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Right around. Yeah. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. I just that was that was um. That was really crazy, watching him do that to her. That was a little intense for me. I kind of like, though, how they wrapped up now Jody and Sheila. Oh, like, yeah, that was Because so I thought sad. it kind of, it was sad, but I was kind of ready for it. I was like, you know what, that was actually a good, like, I love the writing of the show, and I thought that was a good way to kind of tie up their relationship, because we've kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of yeah. kind of ran its course. And then it, it was always weird that Sheila hooked up with, with her, her daughter's, daughter's Husband, baby, dad. yeah. Because they said yeah. her wife. I said, yeah. I, did, I forgot that they got married. 
Yeah, yeah, so I feel like it was a good time for her to step aside now it, and be like, they need to go back. Was it open that her and Lip were an item? Yes. Did Jody know Did, that her and Lip were an item? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody it's just uses yeah. their mother. Sure, it's yeah. twisted. I know. Use your mom Almost. to get pregnant. Your mom takes your boyfriend. Everybody's all and good. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. She's like, I understand. He's attractive. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> oh, good. Exactly. What do you think about seeing Karen in the coma like that after... She was just here last year. Yeah, she was talking here about last that. Oh, yeah, was she here? Yeah, yeah. and she told us, you'll never see me the same way. So we weren't sure exactly, you know, what was going to happen. I but. felt bad because we met her last week. I was like, poor Laura. I mean, Karen. Karen. You know. Did she really have a shaved? Because that scar was serious. It was real, that was right? really yeah. realistic looking. Yeah, no, her, she was fine. She was fine. Uh, they had to do some crazy like, makeup, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, right? that's crazy. Cause they really did look very realistic. It looked super real. I was like, oh, they had to shave her head. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And I was thinking about it when I saw that. I was like, did she hurt her hair, girl? Wait a second. Yeah, but I don't think they did it. I think they added extensions. Yeah. I think it was just like a bunch of makeup yeah. they put on there. But um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with old Mandy since she's the one who hit Karen. So I don't know if you picked that up. Oh, yeah. I got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the car okay. impact her skull. Okay, so great. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. And then the wiping of the windshield. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Like, it was asked, what'd you do? Oh, I hit a girl from school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No biggie. Yeah, no, no biggie. No. Yeah. That's when I realized, like, oh. Yeah. Okay. I love that Lib hasn't said anything, because I would have, that would have been predictable. And as we've talked about, Shameless is never, ever, ever predictable. So I wonder what, what's going to happen with that. That's a sign of great writing. Yeah. Right? Stay away from television normals, normalcies, and just, yeah. you know, subtlety yeah. and suspense. And how about, as an actor, the scene when Lip sees her in the hospital bed for the first time? Fantastic. And they have the close-up. I love that. I think that, <sighs> the, you know, the closer you get on someone with a camera, the more you see the truth or mm -hmm. the more you see the lie. And the kid's a good actor. God bless him. He was just... He's and He great. wasn't overdoing anything. He was just looking at her. Yeah. That's it. That's all you have to do. You know, yeah. if it's there, it's there. And I, I thought it was there. At the very least, he fooled me. Oh, I loved it, too. I, I thought you could just see, like, his eyes start to get red under here. And I loved it. Just so subtle. And Yeah, he's good. amazing at that, those really those close-ups. And Ian, yeah. too, last week when he was crying in the bed about Mickey. They're, they're all really, yeah. really, really amazing with that. You know, the, the little I've seen of, of the show and I, that I've seen of Lip, I think the kid's a star. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I Absolutely. think he's going to do really big things mm -hmm. after this show. Yeah. Or during. You know. Yeah, he he's he's really good. Did you have a chance to run into Joan Cusack? On no, set? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I but, I, but she's amazing. She in the hospital scene with her too, when she's saying goodbye to yes. Jody. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that hug was intense. Yeah. yeah. And she's a comedian. You know, good for her. She's amazing. I'm glad Gosh. they gave her that moment to have like a serious moment because mm -hmm. she's always being funny or kind of awkward and quirky, and you see her her acting. You know, it's just it's amazing. Well, it's funny because yeah. these are these are big episodes for them as actors. I mean, these are the kind of things that they submit for the Emmys. Right. Mm -hmm. But weirdly, they've been shunned. I don't understand. I, I mean, know. I don't either. I don't know. Have, oh, they haven't this, won anything yet? No. As a show? Really? Can you? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. No. It's a well done show. It's I know. And I, I think, who was it in here? Was it um, Laura? Someone that we had on said that Bill will say in, in table reads, this is why we don't win Emmys because they do all this crazy stuff. It might have been Bob. Was it Bobby? Maybe it was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think maybe. Eric. Yeah, yeah. Eric said that. Yeah. You think they don't win Emmys just because of the certain how how crazy subject matter? Yeah, that's what he was. I mean, he probably was joking. Yeah. But it might be. It might be true. He's saying maybe that it scares some people or that they don't know yeah, quite maybe. what to do with it. The voters you know? are like, uh, was it really that good or was I just shocked? Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of boobs everywhere. <laughs> but apparently, sometimes they do get scripts and they say, oh, we're not going to do that. That that's too much. And I'm like, dang, what was what that? that? Was. Yeah. That's what we tried to ask too. We're like, we would like to see those scripts because <laughs> the stuff that you guys put in there is yeah. Because one episode insane. there was a young girl uh she was about nine and she was like supposedly a dude but she was playing a girl and i was like when her mom got that script it's like you're gonna be playing a little boy yeah. on the show you know it's crazy very crazy yeah yeah that was a good one <laughs> well should we talk more about um let's talk more about your projects some things that you have yeah. going on that is fine with me <laughs> <laughs> what's going on ej um, things are going really well for me. Uh, it's been the year of the gay. Yes. For me. That's not offensive. I can no, say No, yeah. Say you that. you own these parts. The year of the Heck homosexual. Yeah. It's good. Um, I, You're uh, great at it. <laughs> thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. My boyfriend says so, too. <laughs> um, 
I booked uh, Shameless, and then literally a week later, I booked Revenge oh, really? for a reoccurring mm -hmm. role. Okay. And then uh, this pilot season, I just signed off for my first pilot uh, with myself, Sharon Horgan. You guys don't watch a lot of British television. Mm -mm. I just Not think so the much. Brits do comedy so right. Like it's yeah. intelligent. It's 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 real. It's 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 the kind of shows that last uh, after even they're done. Um, like The Office, that mm. is amazing in America. Right. Like the British Shameless, that's now in America, is a reason why they keep on redoing the shows here. There's a show called Spy, that they're doing here now, oh. that I love. I love Spy. Okay. It's okay. really, it's really awesome. And uh, the director from the British Spy's name's uh, Ben Taylor, is directing uh, this new show I'm on called Bad Management. Uh, starring Sharon Horgan, who can't walk down the street in the UK without oh. being like, <laughs> you nice. know, she is funny. She is a female. She's beautiful. She's strong. She's a writer, executive producer of the show, and she's starring in it. And she's amazing. Nice. I mean, she's amazing. And for a beautiful to female to be funny, it's just rare. Or mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Um, and then there's Rachel Harris. You guys know Rachel Harris from mm -hmm. like The Hangover. From, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's had as uh, an, uh, an award-winning. She was nominated for a Spirit Award last year for Best Actress for a, a film she did. And then there's uh, myself, David Spade, Love uh, David isn't Spade. it? And um, and a young lady named Greta Lee. Um, and all of us. Oh, and Alan Thicke is in it. What? <laughs> nice. Yes, I know. <laughs> Alan Thicke. Wow. I saw him, I was like, like growing. I knew. <laughs> What's he been doing? I wanted to sing the thing song yeah. to him, but I thought it'd be a little weird. You probably like, yeah. Was He's he like, cool? I wrote it. He knows. He did. He wrote it. He wrote it. Oh. Um, so he was he was Alan Thicke. He I hear Thicke, yeah. and I thought you were talking about Robin for a second. I was like, wait, Seven. what? Robin? Yeah. Well, the, the, the writers were talking about how it'd be funny because <laughs> Alan Thicke plays David Spade's father. Oh. You know, they were both like, hey, welcome, my son is here, yes. Um, it'd be really funny if, like, Robin came on as the other son, but the more yeah. successful son. Right. David Spade's character is, like, heading up, like, Sound and Vision in a department store that uh, that their family owns called the Eastmores. And so where we all work, we work in a department store. So, like, I'm selling makeup. Oh, my God, I want to see <laughs> this. Um, and then Rachel Harris is, like, the woman who's a little overly tan. You're just like, ah, you look a little leathery. Um, and then Sharon Horgan's our manager, who's just just a ball, just crazy balls. Just, just crazy. It sounds good. It, it's actually it. really, really funny. We just we're shooting. We're fin we finished shooting it uh, tomorrow. Oh, and um, nice. everyone is like cracking up behind Where the camera. Where are you guys shooting? And stuff. We just we shot at Neiman Marcus oh, nice. in Beverly nice, Hills. Nice, nice. And um, I'm excited. I just want to see some dailies. It's <laughs> everyone has issues. It's just like a bunch of misfits trying to sell really expensive nice. stuff. <laughs> Sounds like a good one. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Now, did I also read? Did you do? Um, an indie where about wheelchair ballroom dancing. Oh my god! <laughs> I want to hear about that. So I I danced for a couple of years in my life. What kind and, um, of dance? Like a ballet and modern. I was okay. never into sports. Hence why everyone yeah. thought you I was a homosexual. Okay. My brother was just like, you know what? I've already accepted it. <laughs> Literally, at the point of high school, he was like, listen, kid, I love you. It's fine. Either way. <laughs> he was like, I know you are, and when you're ready to admit it, I'll be here. And I was just like, literally. Well, he came to like a dance, and I was in this uh, this company in Harlem called uh, uh, Uptown Dance Academy, UDA. Uptown Dance. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, and we like did a version of the Nutcracker, but they do it every year. It's called the Black Nutcracker, and oh. it's there's like African dance involved and and stuff like that. And I came out in a loincloth. Literally nothing else. And he was just up in the audience like, I just, I knew it. <laughs> he's like, there it is. I Come it. on he out. He's plieing. I know what a plie is because he's my brother. I know what a plie is because of him. Um, and so, so yeah, so I got to do a film. Really, it was really crazy. It was, um, I auditioned for that film and had the callback. That I, and I didn't go to the callback because my uncle, who was a paraplegic for 31 years, just mm. passed away. Oh. So this film about wow. people in, in wheelchairs came as my uncle was passing. And that kind of thing never... Wow. When do we ever see a film yeah. about people uh, who are paralyzed? Um, hardly ever. Um, and so it was just, for me, it was like dedicated to him. It was a celebration of, of love. And it's about this character. My character's name is Armando, who works at this dance school. Um, in the movie, it's as a janitor. I was like, that's dumb. Just have him work there because he wants free classes. There's no reason for him to be the guy who sweeps up. 
Right. Because I'm Mexican. <laughs> okay. Um, That's not my first thought. I was like, why do um, I gotta do that? I know. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> she knows. I know. Oh, we know. Okay. Those mother. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, um, but he's like got this big crush on like the head uh, at the studio, the head dancer, and she's amazing, and she's one of the teachers, and there's this connection between them. Right before she gets hit by a car, she is paralyzed. But what's really interesting about the film is, it's not like he loved her and he loved her through this. He only really gets to know her after she's paralyzed. He ne they never really knew each other before that, mm. but they get to know each other. And the beauty of it is that he doesn't see her as anything less than, Aww. you know. So the film's really about him reminding her to love herself and that, you know, dancing isn't about, you know, what you're able to move. It's it's how you're feeling when you're moving. Mm. That's it. And I'm going to cry. And yeah. so, so they, they, like, you know, <laughs> enter a little ballroom dance competition in New York and it, it, it's like handy, it's capable dancing. So it's like there's partners in the chairs and one able-bodied partner, you know. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the stuff's real huge in like the UK and Asia. It's really, really big. So like when you see the professionals do it, you're like, I can't do that standing up, I swear. Hmm. It's I'm talking about turns, floor whips, where women have their whole bodies being switched on the floor from the guy in the chair picking them up and Ooh. craziness. Not, it's not one of those moments where it's like, oh, good for you yeah, for trying. Yeah, right, you're yeah. like, I those moments do where that. you're like, holy, whoa. Yeah. Nice. I want a wheelchair now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, so, so yeah, so that's really pretty nice. crazy. Nice. And the last thing I want to call out, I actually used to work on Guiding Light, and that's where oh. I first saw you. I did the, not not in New York, but I did the promos for you guys' show, so I remember screening oh, back in the day, smokes. logging when you were Rafe on Guiding Light. That is embarrassing <laughs> as heck. Just thought I'd bring it up for so, you. <laughs> that was a lot of bad acting back then. How about we bring up Reading but, Rainbow? Oh <laughs> my god, yeah. can I say that for the last time? <laughs> I wish I was on that show. Oh, I never was. I should have warned. Phil warned me that before I, I said and tell you. <laughs> Someone, my girlfriend's here, like, who the heck said that? I didn't <laughs> know. I didn't know. The same no, question the was morning. asked by um, Ona? Anna, uh, Anna. Anna. Here. It's on your IMDb, correct? It's I on know. There. The yeah. same thing happened last. Oh, was it Phil? Was it Phil or was it Anna? I don't remember. Um, who it, said was it? Anna. it was Anna. It was Anna. Thanks, Martin. And then um, and then I was just like, yeah, first oh, thing I'm thing, I'm all me. reading Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> I, I wanted to indulge and be like, I wrote that song. <laughs> but you did play the trumpet in the band. I, I did. know you did. Do I love that. how you guys like read my resume <laughs> off of we Wikipedia. Try to be prepared. Why are you guys so prepared? I was in band. People always thought I was a big nerd, and I was like, hey, the trumpet, great. <laughs> oh, I, I danced ballet and was in the musical theater company. Hello. And, and was in band. And you so. do not look like a nerd. Man. Yeah. I get chicks. Okay. <laughs> Very pretty I ones. Get, yeah, pretty exactly. Ones. Look. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh. I was heterosexual once. <laughs> awesome. Well, is there any, do you have any big quotes or anything else from this episode this week? Uh, any, either of you guys? Just some predictions. Just maybe some get predictions? On, get on, on that. Yeah. All right. And now, your After Buzz TV. Makes me feel weird that noise. I know, I love Kinda it. Kind of creepy. Can you hear what we're hearing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what? She's like, what's wrong with that? All right. Well, I am going to start with Fiona and Jimmy and say that they are going to break up. I think I've been saying that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think from the season finale, some weird's going to happen and they're going to part ways. That's my big major prediction. Do you have any predictions? For the Watching show? From what yeah, you just think? Yeah. yeah. Let me think about it for a second. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Um, I, th I, th I, I mean, the one thing about the show that I just I do love is is that they're it's nothing but heart. So I, I think in the end everyone's gonna be okay. Uh, <laughs> That's my prediction. So yeah. It's really vague in general, so I can't lose. <laughs> it's a great no, one. <laughs> what about you, Jamie? I'm with you. I'm gonna go ahead and say again that I think she is gonna hook up with Mike. I hope um, so. Her boss. Ooh. I hope so too. And actually, I think it would be good. I think let let Jimmy go ahead and. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're bad. She is stressed. <laughs> that girl get better it. get some. Get it, girl. I like it. He's playing softball. He's got her out there having fun. You know. I just think. Yeah. Um, Oh, I did actually. And he's not moving to Michigan. She actually, Fiona had a quote. I did write this one down where she was like, you know, please don't be the guy who lies. And oh. he has been that guy who lies like over and over for the last he's few episodes. He's been lying yeah. every episode. Yeah. So I'm ready for her to go ahead and, you know, Jimmy says he needs a change. I think she needs a change too. And they could Ooh. just, you know, I think it'd be good. 
And I also think that Mickey's gonna come back to Ian. You think they're gonna get back together? I hope so. No, that boy needs a boy his age. Uh, no. no. No, Mickey. Well, how old is Mickey? Mickey's, they're the same, right? Are you thinking of um, Oh, you're Lloyd? thinking of Lloyd. Uh, yes, 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 yes. No, Mickey's the neighborhood guy that he's okay. been canoodling with. Canoodling. Canoodle. Canoodle. I love that word. I That's do. what they call it. <laughs> they do. It's a technical Canoodle. term. So yeah, I think they're gonna get back together. I do. I think they touched on it lightly. Shameless does that. Like they'll have something major, and the next episode is just like real yeah. quick, and then you're just like, wait, what happened? So hopefully, they'll yeah, they kind of leave you. Just looking quick to make sure we didn't leave anything else. No, I don't think we yeah. did. I think we touched on it. And I oh, I hope Karen wakes up. Obviously. Oh well, she did. Well, she yeah, she did at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but like, I hope she it stays. Stays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's only up after <laughs> and the act. For and like they're just going to like, oh, that was quick. <laughs> so if you want to have a conversation, you really have to pay the toll, basically. She's like, you got to go ask back you, in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it got me wondering, though. I'm like, is that, would that work? Okay, but maybe. I'm like, it's well, TV I show. told my lady, I was like, listen, if I'm ever in a coma, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> you saw Shameless. You saw Shameless, damn it. <laughs> Many people might just start acting like they're in coma now. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right. Well, I also think Mandy is going to get even crazier. So I don't know what she's going to do. But I think crazy. she's going to. Doesn't she look nice? I think, oh yeah. I think the more lip, like, obviously we saw him neglect her at the end here when he acted like he was asleep. And I think she's just going to go. Cuckoo for cuckoo. Even, I mean, I don't she's know how you top there. what she already did. Yeah. I'm talking <laughs> but, about she's going to get arrested and be like in a, in a girl's asylum yeah. penitentiary she, thing. She might have I to know. Get shipped I, out. I know. Because for a few weeks, I was like, I understand her because she's in love. And now I'm like, yeah. dang, girl. Yeah. <laughs> now she went. Is it too that long. good? Ooh, make it kill somebody. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Phil did have some news and gossip for us, but I don't think he's going to be able to make it back in here. So we'll let him save that for you next week. He actually had a conversation with William H. Macy this oh, week. I can't so, wait. yeah, we'll have to all tune in next week and hear all about it. That's pretty yeah. awesome. So I think that's it. Thank yeah, you, AJ, so thank much you for so coming. Much. So hey guys, great to have you here. High fives. High fives. Across the room, high fives. <laughs> All right, where can we find everybody at? You can find me at Drea Renee underscore N on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at EJ underscore Bonilla, B-O-N-I-L-L-A, on everything. <laughs> awesome. And I'm at JJJorgens.com and at JJJorgens. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week. Yay. Yay. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Really proactive. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.